Hi viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making for us a very delicious jollof rice, Nigeria jollof rice. Stay back and watch. I am Obi Franka Uche. Welcome to Obi Uche TV. One cup of rice. Here I have my spices. I have my nutmeg, bernie chicken, curry powder, mixture of garlic and ginger powder. Here I have my nutmeg. Here I have my royco cube. Here is my bay leaf. Here is my thin tomatoes. Here I have my tatashe, my onion, fresh tomatoes. Here is the celery, celery leaf. It's frozen. That is why the color is like this. This two onion, I will be using it to blend the tomatoes, tatashe, and the pepper together. Then this little one here, I will be frying it just for extra flavor. Let's get started. Don't forget, I have my chicken stock. I will be using chicken stock here. And this is our water. Here is our salt. I will put the salt according to the quantity I will need. Then here is our vegetable oil. We'll start by adding some vegetable oil. Add the onion and some salt. Whenever you are frying your onion, if you want to get a perfect jello rice, always allow the onion to bring out its natural flavor. And this can only happen when you fry your onion for like two minutes. Then after that, you add your curry powder. Also allow the curry powder to bring out its flavor. Fry it for like one second, then add your thyme, stir as well. Wow! Then the next thing is to add a tomato paste. Yeah, at this point, some of you may be wondering why. I am putting the tomato paste at this time. Yeah, this is usually the best time for me to add my tomato paste because I believe the fresh tomatoes normally has a sweet taste. For these uh, thin tomatoes, or the tomato paste usually has uh, this salt taste. So I like to fry it first and make sure that the salt taste is cleared before I add my fresh tomatoes. So you stir occasionally so it doesn't get burnt. A tin tomato is ready. At this point, quickly add the blended tomatoes and onion mixture. It took me five minutes to fry that uh, tomato paste before I finally added the blended tomatoes, tatashi and onion. 15 minutes later, I will be adding my seasoning cube. Remember, I'm adding two royco, my garlic and ginger mixture, bernie chicken, 
the bay leaf and uh, nutmeg powder. Please note that uh, this uh, bay leaf eh, is a very nice spicy food. But whenever you are making your jello fries, please put very little. You can see for this quantity of rice, one cup of rice, I just added only two pieces of bay leaf. And they are even small in sizes. It has a very strong taste. It can easily ruin your meal when you put excess. Better put small than putting excess and it spoils the taste of your jello fries. The same goes to nutmeg. When you are using a blended nutmeg, there's one they have in session. You can just put like quarter tablespoon, no, quarter teaspoon of uh, hey, nutmeg. Quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Or when you are using the seed one, you just put small. They are nice spices, but they are good to put like, you add them little, little in order to promote the taste of your food and not to steal away the taste. The same thing goes to all the other spices. As you can see in this jollof rice recipe, I'm using mostly natural spices like curry thyme, the nutmeg, the bay leaf, garlic and ginger powder, and so on. So I prefer them in my jollof rice. At least I want the rice to have a natural taste. I don't want any artificial taste in my food. By so doing, you are not you are not only cooking your jello fries, you are only you are also eating a healthy jello fries. So please be mindful of the spices you use in preparing your your food. The tomato is ready. I'm going to be adding the chicken stock. Remember to add that salt to taste, please. When you are preparing your jello fries, you add your salt little by little. Don't add too much salt to your food. It's not healthy. I'm going to cover this now and allow it to boil. Now it's time to add our rice. This rice is properly washed. I wash this rice up to three times. One thing I also want us to know is about the water we normally add to our rice whenever we are preparing our rice, especially our jello fries. The thing is, it's not actually the only the water that cooks the rice. See what I mean? We use foil paper to cover it. Then use your lid to cover. This will enable the heat to be trapped into the, the rice and it will make this rice to be very sweet and it will also make the texture to be very nice. This is about 18 minutes later and see the rice is ready Cover again and allow to cook for additional three minutes. Additional three minutes. 
Wow, our rice is ready, guys. Look at the color. Wow. This rice tastes very, very delicious. Please, if you have watched this video up to this point, hit the like button. Comment down below for your suggestions. Please, I will appreciate. Your suggestions are highly welcomed. Please hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Subscribe to my channel. And look at this. Wow, delicious. I hope you try it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much. You can pair this food with any beverage of your choice. If you have cool Zobo drink, it will go very well with it. Thank you.